we're doing our second round of Apigard on in this yard. We've been doing the whole outfit with Apigard. I used Apivar last year. I uh, thought I'd switch it up and use Apigard this year. It's not hard to do. Um, this will be the second round. And then after this, we'll wait about a week and do uh, some mite checks. And if the mites still look a little on the high side, we'll give it a third. I'm hoping we'll get away with two rounds. It's been a while since we were here. I've been trying to do the yards every seven days, but it's been raining a lot and we've been having a hard time staying on schedule. I'd say it's been maybe 10 days since we were here. Yeah. yeah. It's been a little while. And we're feeding, feeding them as we go, uh, if they look like they need it. Anyway, it's just, this is more about uh, moving fast, quantity work instead of quality. We'll get all this treating done, a little bit of feeding. And then when we're satisfied that we're done treating, we'll go through every colony carefully and do a queen assessment and requeen any colonies that look like the queen is not doing real good. This particular yard has almost entirely queens from last year, last fall. These were September queens last year, so they're just now one year old, so they'll still be good in the spring. They'll be about a year and a half old in the spring. I'm always touting that we like to requeen every colony every year, and the reason I'm not going to requeen this yard is it has genetics that I want to use in the spring to mate with. Um, you can't see it in this shot, but on the other side of this uh, field that this yard is on the edge of, we set up a nuke mating, queen mating nuke yard this summer, and we'll do it again next year too. And after I've used as much of these genetics as I feel like I need, uh, we'll go ahead and requeen sometime next year. This was an excellent yard of bees. This is this uh, uh, Caucasian carnial and stock we've been trying to generate. And I, I think it's safe to say this is one of our best yards of bees this year. Mm -hmm. Fairly gentle, really produced, massive colonies. They got really huge back when they were brooding up properly. They're shrinking quick now because they've uh, been in, in a diminished brood rate rearing mode for quite a while now. The, the pollen flow spring pollen flow probably stopped here a month and a half ago and um, we're noticing that most of our colonies don't have much pollen in them now but the goldenrod is going to start soon probably within a week or two that's where we're, we're trying to get this uh, mite treatment out of the way before we uh, start uh, raising the winter bees apigard has a tendency to slow or in some cases even shut the queen down so she's not laying at all and i don't mind that happening this time of year I don't have a need in our area to go into winter with massive colonies with a huge cluster. I don't even like to see big, you know, 12 or 14 frame clusters in these double deeps. Um, anything from five or six frames to eight or nine frames suits me just fine. They'll be ready to split on time next year. Um, we don't travel anymore, as I've mentioned in many of my videos, so we just stay in place here in the southern Appalachian Mountains. and. I don't need huge clusters coming out in the spring to make early packages or nukes or pollinate in California or any of that stuff. So, so far we've been really happy with these genetics. And anyway, we're going to show you how we do the, this video is really about how we do Apigard. I kind of got so, sidetracked there. J Jesse's doing the squirting the gel. Um, uh, Jason's doing the feeding and we're just going to go through really fast. One thing that I've done before we got started was we're doing 30 uh, uh, for the singles and 50 for the doubles. So I just went ahead, milliliters, and went ahead and marked that on the syringe so I don't have to look at that, try to make things go a little quicker. Uh, and of course, you just want to stir this stuff before you start. And uh, when we do this, we move pretty quick. Okay. So. Find that some bees have moved a little pad there.
normally we have Seth putting the lids back on, but he's running the camera right now, so he can't do it. That's all there is to it. So that's approximately 50 grams we're putting on these double deeps. Uh, like Jesse said, we put 30 on the singles. It's not super hot right now. It's only getting into the low 80s for a high. Is that on? When it says 50 milliliters, we're really, really close to okay. 50 grams also. Now, if it was in the 90s as for a high, we'd back that on down, but it's been in the low 80s to the mid 80s, so I feel comfortable doing that level. You gotta be careful with this stuff. In hot weather, you can run the bees right out of the colony. Slap out of the yard. Yeah. Let me get a shot of you adjusting the milliliters there. important part of it um, these are three quarter inch rims we've been making one inch rims lately uh, we use those rims both for this type of treatment and also pollen patties sometimes we put pollen patties on in the spring Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this one gallon bucket too. This colony was real light when we were here before, that's why I got that gallon. Kind of nice having Martin yesterday. Yeah. We didn't get to have Martin for a little while. He's been in the bottling room. Poor guy. I think he likes it in the bottling room. He has fun with the girls. Yeah. He does. They, they call Martin brown sugar. You know that. <laughs> do they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, it got really sunny all of a sudden. <laughs> Well, this is a yard of single, same routine. We just give them 30 grams instead of 50. Okay. 
pro look at all that propolis around there, Seth. Those are they don't like that yeah. stuff, do they? Yeah. We're gonna check these colonies for mite counts before we treat them, see where we stand. We use this uh, that focusing. So we kind of use this Tupperware tub to just carry all the pieces and parts around with us. We put a uh, our half cup measuring cup, which if you put that level it's uh, really close to 300 bees we've actually counted them a couple times and you get really close to 300 bees when you use a half a cup when you do a mite wash you need to take ideally you want to take uh, bees off of open brood um, my understanding is that you'll find a higher concentration of mites on the nurse bees. They're, I think the mites are hanging out on the open brood waiting for an opportunity to enter cells just before they get capped and somehow they understand that that's the place to be if they're going to accomplish that. So we will be shaking bees off of open brood and we will look very close of course to make sure we're not shaking the queen in. I don't see her. That's a perfect frame. Zero, two stingers. I'm gonna shake for just a few more seconds just to double check. Let's try this one. This one seems to be queenless, so we're not gonna necessarily nope. go by that. Uh, no. One mine? One mine. Okay. Well, keep shaking. We'll get another call. Keep looking. Keep looking. <laughs> This is a perfect frame. This frame's full of open brood, so it's the perfect, uh, perfect frame for checking for mites. You only got one. Yep. Okay. Well, don't throw the alcohol. Yes, sir. We use the we use the alcohol over if it's just got one or two in it. We can use the alcohol over and over. Just do the math. So, so now we got less. <laughs> right, yeah, now we got less. <laughs> Any? Okay, we gotta check one more. This is, yeah. I'm not ready to accept. <laughs> there he is. So you found your one again? I found the one. <laughs> We go through six or ten uh, colonies and do a, a mite wash and only get one or possibly two, uh, I won't treat. I don't treat for the fun of it. And three. That's total? Yep. So two.
two, technically. Yeah, so the last colony gave us two mites. Two, two. Two. So we got some zeros, we got some ones, and we got a couple twos. Just gonna treat once, and uh, the, this yard will be done being treated for the fall. We'll hit, if we don't sell it this fall, we'll hit it again with oxalic acid in late November and early December. Sure, just two? Yep. Two, yeah. That's good news. All right, let's treat and feed.